Hey, what's going on YouTube? BD Kane 721. Happy Friday. Hope everybody's having a great week and looking forward to the weekend. I certainly am going to be doing a lot of errands around the house, watching some Masters golf and some some other things, but it should be an enjoyable, relaxing weekend. Today is going to be a VR for my good friend and great friend of the channel, Ken over at Ken's Cardboard. He's doing a contest to show some rainbow cards. Um, I am really looking forward to doing this for him today for that contest because rainbows are right up my alley. Kind of an interesting topic in our hobby because I think it's kind of polarizing. I don't think everybody in the hobby loves to do rainbows or likes to collect different variations of the same card. Uh, and so it's always interesting to hear people's opinion. I happen to be a person who loves doing rainbows. It's, it's a fun part of the hobby. Um, so set collecting and rainbow collecting are two of my favorite things to do. Uh, and so this contest is right up my alley, and there's probably no surprise of what I'm going to show. As you can see in the background, I have the latest rainbow that I got back from PSA, 2020 Topps Chrome Black of Manny Machado. Uh, but that's not the rainbow I wanted to show. I've already shown that on my channel. I kind of want to show some other cards in this um, in this genre, I guess you could say, of our hobby. I also have the new bobblehead over here from the game I went to on Wednesday, the Manny Machado bobblehead day uh, of him showing his home run celebration, the I love you sign to his wife every time he crosses home plate. So kind of a cool bobblehead, something to put in the collection. So what I wanted to do was show one of the cards that I've been collecting all the different variations of. Um to put into my Manny PC. Now, I generally have been doing this just for Manny cards that are of him in the Padres uniform. Uh, I do have some partial rainbows back when he was with the Orioles, but I really focus more on the San Diego Padres uh, and, and his time with them. So he came to the Padres in 2019. I don't believe he had a 2019 Topps Chrome card. It was in the Update series and then his first Topps Chrome card in a Padres uniform. I believe. I'm not... Don't don't uh, take this for 100% fact, but I'm pretty sure 2020 was his first regular Topps Chrome card. But it was in the old blue and white uniform. And I really wanted to collect the brown and gold uniform. So I chose to show today the 2023 version. And I have both flagship tops and tops chrome wanted to just show this rainbow of what i have here's the base card and great shot of him in the in the uniform looks like he's running the bases i would imagine probably running around third or something like that that's the way he's looking back over his shoulder so just a great looking card shows off the padres uniform really well and um, he was in series two as he is this year as well in, in tops flagship 2024 so i've got the base this is the uh advanced stat version so it's really not a color version just a, a numbered version with um, some different statistics on the back this is the vintage stock version that's numbered to 300 that advanced stat one this one here is numbered to 99 the gold foil the rainbow foil the royal blue the gold, numbered to 2024, or 2023, excuse me. It's very hard to see the numbering, by the way. The, uh, I don't know if you call this the blue foil, I think. I think this might be called the blue foil, uh, numbered to 999. The green foil board, numbered to 499. Orange foil board, numbered to 299. The red foil board, numbered to 199. The black, to 72 and the mother's day pink to 50 there are some that i'm missing like the father's day the independence day and some other ones but definitely a good start to that rainbow there tops chrome has the same photo as you can see uh so i unfortunately didn't bring in the base but i have the refractor the prism the x-fractor the sepia the pink the negative, the magenta, number to 399, 
And then in this year, they're doing something different. They have the numbering on the front of the card. The Magenta Speckle, which I actually have two of them, number to 350. Purple Speckle to 299. Purple Sonar to 275. The Purple to 250. The Aqua and the Aqua Lava, both number to 199. The purple sonar and the, I'm sorry, the blue sonar and the blue, no, both numbered, well, actually the purp, the blue sonar is numbered to 125 and the, the true blue is numbered to 150. The green sonar to 99, the green, true green numbered to 99 as well. The gold wave to 50 and the orange wave to 25. And then one just for good measure, I don't really collect sapphire all that much, but I did get the sapphire gold number to 50 so that's boy that's a lot of uh rainbow cards and i know you know people out there that don't really go for rainbows probably wonder why bother chasing all those down it's just fun to see these all in the same spot i just love flipping through cards like this and just seeing all this color it's just it it's a lot of fun it just makes the hobby more enjoyable for somebody like me all right last part of the contest is to shout out a couple of channels where uh, I guess he wants to shout out channels less that have less than 400 subscribers. So I've got a couple that have been really good supporters of my channel recently, and I've gotten to know recently by following their channels, and that's Four Soft Corners and Scoots Collectibles. I left links below for both of them. Go check them out. Get into this contest, guys. Ken's a really great guy. I want to I want to support him as much as I can. And if you don't know him, give him a sub. Check out his channel, see what he collects, and get in touch with him. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys soon. See you.